Kids 105, 43, and 1340, where hip-hop and R&B live the day party with your favorite DJ, DJ Diesel. Y'all, let's discuss some hip-hop news now. It is time for... Diesel, what the hell happened today? And a lot of stuff happened today. Y'all, the beef is still on. Kid Cudi versus Kanye West. Now, y'all, people were speculating that the people that was throwing stuff at Kid Cudi and Rolling Loud was mad because Kid Cudi took Kanye West's place. Kanye West had dropped out. People wanted Travis Scott. They couldn't get Travis Scott. Then they got Kid Cudi. They was throwing stuff. Kid Cudi walked off the stage. Well, Kid Cudi has a big festival that's about to go down in his hometown of Cleveland. And Kanye West's right-hand man, Mike Dean. Mike Dean is Kanye West's engineer. Mike Dean's a legend. And Mike Dean was just working on Beyonce's album. Like, he got a bunch of credits on her new project. Well, Mike Dean got axed from the show. Kid Cudi ain't going with that. Your team, Kanye West... You are not performing at this Kid Cudi Festival. Mike Dean said it's immature. He acted like he didn't know why he got X'd out. But Mike Dean, I know why you got X'd out. Your team Kanye West. Y'all Complex, they released a list of the funniest rappers on social media. Let's go ahead and get to it. Number seven, Ben Staples. Number six, Tyler the Creator. Number five, Cardi B. Number four, 50 Cent. 50 Cent is funny. Number three, Doja Cat. Number two, Little Nas X. Number one, Rick Ross. Rick Ross, hella funny. Y'all, I don't agree with that list, but I will tell you who some funny people are on social media. The funny rappers, Rick Ross, they was right about that. They was right about 50 Cent. Y'all, Kevin Gates will keep you laughing. He's always good for a good laugh. Boosie Boo, Boosie is unintentionally funny. He's always funny. And y'all, Kodak Black, anything that Kodak Black does is funny. Y'all, Kodak Black was in a basketball game front row eating nachos with his homeboy. It was hilarious, y'all. It wasn't funny, but it was funny, y'all. It's just Kodak Black, y'all. Anything he do is funny. Y'all, in other news, 50 Cent is joining the podcast world. Uh, his G-Unit audio company teamed up with Lionsgate, and uh, he will host a podcast about the downfall of El Chapo. 50 Cent wanted it to be a TV series, but he decided on a podcast. It does not have a release date. Now, one thing about this, y'all, I have to say this. A lot of people's in the podcast world is not a lot of people still with it. Like, you have to love doing podcasts. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to really enjoy this thing. So, we'll see if 50 Cent sticks with Y'all, in other news, West Side Gun joins the wrestling game. He has a new promotion company called The Fourth Rope. West Side Gun said everybody knows he's the biggest wrestling fan in the world. And now he's about to mix cultures, present special talent, merch, Fourth Rope Radio, Fourth Rope TV, and more high-level art. Uh, they will make their debut on AEW. Once time for West Side Gun. And y'all, in other news, we got to show some love to Zay HD. He has a single called GTTM, Get to the Money. And it's number two on the Triller charts behind Beyonce. Zay HD is from The Rock, so that's really, really dope. And another song that's doing well, it's had nothing to do with Arkansas, but little Zay Osama. His song, F My Cousin, is the number two song trending on YouTube right now. And y'all, last but not least, the weekend and Summer Walker are teaming up. They're going to drop the Best Friends remix tonight at midnight. Best Friends is actually my favorite song off of the weekend's album that he dropped earlier this year at Don FM. So I'm looking forward to that. And this is their first time working together. Y'all, that is what the hell happened today. I'll be back tomorrow, 2 p.m. sharp, or doing your favorite radio station, Kiss 105.3, 1340.